Hi right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So today's video is going to be kind of simple. I want to find out how much pressure is exerted in the center of a rubber band ball. So I've got me a little pressure gauge, a thick brass pipe, an assortment of rubber bands, and I think the idea is that I'm going to take a balloon, fill it with water, and the water will transfer the force that the rubber bands are exerting up to the gauge. You see, the amount of force that a single rubber band exerts is not that great. You know, I'm easily able to spread it with just my fingers. But each additional rubber band adds to the amount of force. So now it's like twice as hard. Now it's three times as hard. Eventually, it's getting to the point where it's very difficult to open my hand. If I keep adding rubber bands, eventually I'm not going to be able to open my hand at all. And you've probably seen the demonstration where you do this around a watermelon, and eventually the watermelon gets crushed. Let's see what kind of pressure we generate if I just put a whole bunch of rubber bands around this balloon. This might be more difficult than I was expecting. <laughs> All right, that's not working. The balloon's too flexible and the rubber bands just kind of roll around on it so I can't get it to, maybe if I was real careful I could, but I don't have that kind of patience. So let's try something that's a little bit sticky so it'll actually stick to the, rope, stick to the balloon. Maybe I can kind of reinforce it as well, make the balloon a little stronger. Now we can try the rubber bands. Ah, see, that works so much better. <laughs> well, I have exhausted my colorful rubber bands. And you can see, I'm up to around 25 pounds. Of course, five of that is just from the tape. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. I got water coming out. Where'd that come out of? Hmm. Maybe I should put some more tape on this. Or alternately, focus more rubber bands on here. Make the squeeze tighter. It ruptured. Got up to about 120. And then the water shot out right there. <laughs> oh, this is potentially dangerous. I did notice that as I went, I was getting diminishing returns. Like in the beginning, I could see the needle move with pretty much every additional robo band. But uh, once I got to this point, you know, I was putting on dozens of rubber bands before even noticing the needle jump. And I think the reason for that is the surface that the rubber bands are acting on is much greater. So basically it takes more rubber bands to cover the ball to get another shell of force. Ah, oh, this is going to take forever too. The crumpled center. <laughs> so I think I will try again, but this time let's just do it with the tape. Ah, 
So here we are. After two and a half rolls of tape, I managed to get over 150 pounds per square inch. Very nice. You'll notice that this ball is much smaller. The rubber bands took up much more material. And the reason the tape did so much better is I could pull it tighter, so each layer generated more pressure, and the layers are much thinner than the rubber bands are. So you get more of them for the same radius. And because of that, the returns still diminished, but not nearly as much as they did for the rubber bands. Now, I actually probably could have gotten more pressure than this, but it kept springing leaks. The uh, water would work its way up out of this, and just losing a few drops of water would decrease the pressure dramatically. You can see towards the end there, I just started really wrapping it tight. <laughs> so anyway, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Well, that wasn't very dramatic. <laughs>